Hey guys, what is going on? It's Brian with you from the Game Common, and we are playing more XCOM 2. So we're going to go ahead and hop right into this. Uh, we are going and investigating the Codex Brain Coordinates. Uh, thorough analysis and decryption of the Codex Brain provide us with a set of remote coordinations. Coordinates. Coordinations. <laughs> Possibly the subject's origin. We need to investigate the site and pursue any leads uncovered. So let's go ahead and launch mission. Uh, 15 enemies, which is crap. Um, and there's chrysalids. So yay. We're, we're excited for this one. Woot. But in all seriousness, fuck this mission. <laughs> <sighs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, last episode, we bought the Hellweave. Not sure we're going to use it on any of our soldiers. Uh, we do not need the Skulljack, though. So we're definitely going to straight up drop you but first let's give her back um let's give you the hell we for right now let's just take a look at this uh da -da 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 -da. um mimic beacon now okay here's the thought we could maybe drop like the flash what could you take beyond the flash you could take more bombs might be worth it like we could give him an acid bomb If we do that, we give him acid bombs. We still have our two mimic beacons. We still have the smoke bomb. Because here's my thinking. Like, we hadn't used the flash in quite a while. The only reason... Okay, I think the hell is pointless. Like, let's be straight up honest with you. I don't really find it worth it. Um, also, wasn't it plus 8 HP last mission? Why is it only plus 6 now? Oh, oh, okay, because for some reason we're looking at something else. I have no idea. I, I don't think the HP bonus is really that useful. My concern is obviously getting chrysalids surrounding us and, you know, taking a bunch of damage. The And really, my number one concern is chrysalids popping up from under the ground where we didn't see them and killing us. You know what might be worth it in this mission? Taking... Bezerides with us. What else were we fighting really quick? Elite officer, elite trooper, elite shield bearer. Those are all crap. I mean, we'll need to blow up some armor, but we really don't need to shred armor. So if we took Bezerides with us, the Berserker, I don't think six in cover. That's too... Ah, uh, let's launch. I, th I think we got to take this team, even though... Yeah. Is the smoke bomb worth it? The smoke, actually, you know what? The flash might be more worth it than the smoke bomb. So in that case, let's do it this way. Let's put this back on. And the flash being so big anyways. He does LRD buffing anyway. Yeah, let's, let's flash with you. And I guess we're going to roll. I mean, she does. I, I still don't know if these are worth it. Because, okay, it does extra damage and have a chance to set the target of flame. That's great. Well, I'm not waiting for the flames to actually kill them. Uh, I don't know what to do, guys. Let's just be honest. I guess we're going to roll with this. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, if, if that makes her pistol do more damage, this is so worth it. If it doesn't, then it's probably not worth it. She's probably not even worth the take on this mission. Like, I think Bezerese would probably be better suited than her. Um, just because I'm just I'm so worried about the aliens popping out of ground. And quite frankly, if we're overwatching with her pistol, that doesn't help us too much. But all that being said, let's go ahead and launch mission. This will most definitely be a two-parter with 15 enemies. That's, you know, it's going to be well over an hour on these missions. So, I think we're definitely going to have to split it up into two. With that being said, I probably should have, you know, started a timer. Uh, give me one second. Doop -doop -doop -doop. Stop watching. Go! Begin mission. Doop -doop. Boom. Shen and Tygen barely managed to pull these coordinates from that codex thing they had down in the shadow chamber. It's the teleport bitch, thank you. It's origin point, but can't know for sure. Based on the fight it put up, I'd expect heavy resistance either way. Good luck down there. Alright. Recovering valuable information, neutralize all hostiles. Are we going underground? That'd be kind of cool. I'd actually be really okay with that. Nope. <laughs> I think it would just offer very unique 
feel Target to it. Coordinates are just ahead. Move to investigate the site. Hostile presence is currently unknown, but expect the worst. If there's one thing I'm really excited about beating this game, it's to actually start downloading a bunch of mods. I kind of want to make this first playthrough without mods, but I'm really excited to get a bunch of mods just to have a bunch of different assets and maps and whatnot. Uh, simply because after a while, all these maps, you know, I, I love the fact that they're, you know, procedurally generated. So, you know what, I'm not actually playing the same map, but you can definitely tell that there may be not as much variety as the previous XCOM because, I mean, how many tree missions have we fought? you know, that looks like this. I mean, this is probably at least four or five now, which I'm not complaining, don't hear that. Um, the, procedurally genera the procedural generation definitely makes it feel very unique, but, you know, I would love to see a little more assets mixed in. I would love to see an underground map. I would love to see a, you know, big city map. I think that would be cool. So we're definitely going up that direction. So let's stick this way for now. This is the edge of the map. Let's stick to the edge of the map. Also, we're concealed. What's been so interesting about concealment recently is we've not even been overwatch trapping. It's not been worth it for us to overwatch trap because we just have so many different abilities to take care of the enemies. And also, they're so freaking high level, I'm scared to do that because they're just going to dodge it and it's going to be a terrible day for me. Was not actually expecting that when I first started playing the game. Like, was not expecting that by the end of the game I wouldn't overwatch trap because I thought overwatch trap was just so godly. And it was, at least, you know. I'm on the move. For the first 10 hours of the game or so. I'm not actually sure how many hours I've put into this game. It's been a lot. We'll throw that out there. Uh, Ripley, yes, yeah, it. let's run you. Roger that. I think I have a good enough a good enough vision on what's out here to not to worry. And we are We're just gonna straight overwatch. There's no rush. No time limit. That's a chrysalid. That is definitely a chrysalid. That is why we're overwatching every turn. Yeah. Not because I'm not, you know, I'm being lazy or, you know, taking my time. Nope, we are watching for chrysalids. So does that mean the chrysalid buried itself or the chrysalid unburied itself? Also, can I please have my turn any time now? That would be wonderful. Uh, okay. Thank you, game, for letting me know that something way over here overwatched. That I'm probably, like, at least six turns away from meeting. <laughs> Confirmed. Moving out. Yeah, let's lead with Sarah Connors. That seems intelligent. <laughs> She's the pistolier, so yeah. Orders confirmed. Oh, actually, out. we can run with Matoko. One of these days, I'll remember. Uh, I think this is okay. Hostiles making the rounds. All right, I don't think this is as okay. I'm pretty sure they're not gonna be able to spot me though. Also, I was really hoping to jump in on some chrysalids. These guys, these guys, you know, they're dicks, but I'm not that concerned. Let's actually run you over here, because you also have Overwatch. That's like my new favorite thing, the fact that they actually got that ability. Doop, doop, doop. And when I got it, I don't even think I really liked it. I was kind of like, oh, that's not that helpful. We are probably going to put Sarah Connor on the other side of this tree, perhaps, maybe. I don't know. Heading there now. We'll spread this way just a little bit. There's a turret too. Okay. We'll put you here. Orders confirmed. On the move. I should actually put Sarah there. Let's overwatch. Oh, sorry. Overwatch. Overwatch. Apparently I'm boring myself, guys. <laughs> I think you're fine. Like they would literally have to walk this way. Walk this way. Understood. Moving out. That might not have been any safer. I think it is. Okay. Scheme of things, Sarah wouldn't have been picked off. Matoko almost got. I hear crystals again. Alright. Is this worth it? 87, 85, 90, 83? That just seems so terrible. Except they're all surrounded by full cover. You know what we're going to do? Where are you at? No. No. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. Also, can I see something real fast? You have Salvo. Ever vigilant. Doesn't it doesn't actually show me. I want to actually see if this is supposed to destroy cover because it's done a pretty terrible job of destroying cover. Let's be honest. 
Matoko, I'm definitely going to probably end up moving. I'm probably going to have to move all you guys. We got stasis. We have all the abilities in the world. Screw it. I don't care. I don't care enough to actually, like, Overwatch trap. Like, I do really want to do it. I'm just so concerned that if we don't kill them all, we're going to find ourselves in a really bad position. So, Wow, we could just murder two of them straight up. And that destroyed the tree, too. Like, what the hell? So, it just doesn't destroy the cover when I want it to. Noted. And... Get back. This was even worth breaking our cover for. In the scheme of things, we actually didn't even need to do this. Now that I think about it. We could have just tried okay, avoiding them. So Take a look at this. Okay. That was ridiculously easy. Also, apparently, it always puts him in a cone of fire. Ugh, okay. Let's run you up here. Confirmed. See if we got any sort of vision. No, but those really fucking sound like chrysalids. Those really sound like chrysalids. We got a bunch of new stuff we need to use, by the way. Also, <laughs> what the hell? It's not explosive or anything, right? Uh, no. We're gonna move her right here. Finally. This shouldn't really get me any more vision. I just want to cover her a little better. Mountain, we're gonna do something very similar. I think I'm just gonna move you, like, right here. What's over there? Once again, I just want a nice cover. If chrysalids decide to pop up and come fuck my day up. Let's move already! Dip dip dip, we're gonna overwatch you. Scanning. Come get some. On overwatch. I wonder if you cover if that removes the fire. Fire's getting worse here. Ah, I'm burning up here. Do we actually take damage? All right, I don't think we took damage. <laughs> okay, so we cannot reload our gun because we're on fire, I guess. Let's actually try this. Nah, it doesn't look like it did it. Okay. Matoko. Let's go ahead and gremlin heal. That's ridiculous, by the way. But I don't want him to actually take damage. <laughs> I don't want to have to take someone else on my next mission. That also sucks because we lose our reload. So we're probably going to delay a little bit on this turn. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. I guess we'll move you like right here. I'm trusting you here. This gets me... Shouldn't give me any vision, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, we'll run you up here. Got it. Keep everyone in the same line. Oh, yeah. He has... I forgot he actually has that ability. So it was impossible for that freaking avatar Finally. to actually do things against him. Um, mentally. Because he should be immune. On Overwatch. Scanning. Scanning. And we'll, we'll come up here. Don't see why not. She's covered. In cover. No enemies. Alright. I do hear the enemies over there. Also, I really would like to know which direction we're supposed to be going in. I'm on it. God, I hate that sound. Okay, let's reload with you. And we're gonna move ever slightly forward. It's killing time. On your order. Ugh. That's affirmative. I hear him this way. So. Oh no, they're berserkers. Okay. Interesting. And a turret. More interesting. Turret, I don't actually even mind. We could totally own the crap out of this turret. <laughs> We've proven it time and time again. Three Berserkers is going to offer something interesting. How many HP do they have? We will definitely probably have to pop Rid Ridley out of concealment for this. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So they got like 24 HP, I think. Which is not great. We have stasis, though. We have a lot of ways to deal with them. Um... What is this? Oh. 
Not bad. We could actually do like half damage to everyone. It actually looks exactly like his, which is exactly what I didn't want, but whatever. I love how she can squad sight. <laughs> That's probably going to be how we break this, is squad sight. Let's be honest. Matoko. This turret. It's, I don't know when this turret's going to get ranged on me. I don't think this will give me vision on the turret. I would be really pissed if the turret gets vision. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's put you right here. If you say so. They don't have any armor, though, so that's nice. That means it's going to be All right, I'll go. really easy for us to make some waves with them. Let's go ahead and overwatch. I think we're fine now. And, yeah, I guess we'll just overwatch. It doesn't matter. Uh, okay. That's actually probably best case, because we just triggered them on their turn. So that means they can't do anything to us. Unfortunately, we missed, which is very depressing. Also, you know what's going to suck about this? They're probably going to run past Ripley, spot Ripley, and now the turret's going to be able to shoot at me. Yeah, that might suck. Please don't go any further forward. Okay, that's fine. Just, just stop there. All right, good. Woo! <laughs> that got me a little scared there for a second. Uh, Matoko doesn't have a shot. That's what I figured. We do have a free shot. We can pretty much guarantee a kill on this guy if we free shot him. It does four to seven damage, so we actually might just get a straight kill. So part of me doesn't want to... Actually, yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Because if we can straight kill this guy, you know what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to use our fanfire on one of the others. Boop -a -doop. If not, we're going to probably shoot at everyone. Oh, actually, wait a second. He's also burning. I think he dies now, no matter what. Um, so let's not waste this on you. Let's waste this on you. One, two, three. You can count. I would very much like to see how much his burning damage does. And you know what? Since it lights him on fire, I bet then what she has actually does help. Fuck it. Let's just kill him. What's really awesome about this is I don't think we're going to have to break concealment anymore. Because we should very easily be able to take this other guy down. In worst case scenario, we can just stasis the last guy. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's just finish you off. <laughs> Duck Mountain! Uh, I did, thought he didn't die there for a second. I was like, um, okay. So, I'm thinking I don't want to waste my Rupture ability. As awesome as it would be. It's not the cooldown, it's more the free reload. I just want to hold off as long as possible to use my free reloads. I would like to be able to free reload three times. That would be wonderful. What the hell is happening with my screen? What the crap is happening right now, guys? Uh, What the hell? This is legitly harder than it looks. Is this his ability or is this like a bug? Because it's actually kind of hard to hit things with the mouse. Alright, it just stopped. I think that was a bug. Oh yeah, we can totally dominate stuff. I should have dominated this guy to begin my turn. <laughs> it would be amazing to have. Oh, we could have totally seen his abilities too. Crap, I'm an idiot. Alright, whatever. Um, let's just kill this guy. Ah, oh, we can't still fire. This doesn't do enough damage. It only does 3 to 6. I guess we're going to null lance you. We could just shoot you. 100%. You do 7 to 9. 2, 4, 6, 7. 2, 4, 6, 7. So this should kill. Unless he dodges it. I was like, you did die, right? Awesome. 
And we're still in cover. Concealment. So, let's move forward, see what else we can find. I want to know what was up with that screen shake. That was kind of cool. Annoying, but cool. I don't think we want to go any further forward. Eh, fuck it. Okay. <laughs> I really don't want to get spotted, accidentally. Now, are we going to go for this turret? I think we might as well. I just don't want to have to use a grenade on the turret. So here's the question. Mountain, how far can you go? Alright, let's do it. I'm assuming I can kill the turret this turn. Also, I'm wondering if I could stasis this thing. Probably not. 100% chance. Wow. That does a lot of damage, too. Also, what the hell is this in the background? <laughs> what the fuck? A portal to an alien dimension or some shit? Or a stargate? That's what that looks like. Oh, also, really quickly. Thank God I'm recording. <laughs> really probably should have checked that just a wee bit earlier, but, you know. On the move. Uh, so he has hollow targeting, so this should be, what? Well, yeah, another 100%. Let's do it. We're going to need to take a turn to reload after this. Remember when turrets were like a scary proposition for us? Target neutralized. And I was av avoiding them just because it was going to take everything I have to kill like one turret. <laughs> ah, those were the days. Moving to designated coordinates. Okay. I'm definitely not moving her any further forward though. Um, I think this is what we're investigating right now. I think this is the crazy portal. Now look at this crap. Like, what the heck? Okay. So we'll want to put, like, a sniper right here to get really good view. I don't I don't know what we're doing. This is... This is... <laughs> very unexpected so far. Uh, let's keep everyone pretty tightly compact. I also gotta be careful. Chrysalids. Chrysalids. Oh my god, I should totally freaking mind control a chrysalid. Yes. I'm probably not gonna overwatch Matoko. Or, I mean, I'm probably going to overwatch Matoko instead of reload. Simply for chrysalids. I, I, I totally forgot about the chrysalids up until right now again. I got distracted. Uh, let's reload you. You're down to two shots. Locked and loaded. Moving to overwatch. overwatch, and we'll reload you. I think I'm going to pull her back. Moving out. Just because. I hear chrysalids. <laughs> There are freaking chrysalids out there. I'm, I hear the pitter patter. I'm on it. I don't think this will get anything. Okay. Oh, another turret. Do we want to get this one? Do we have a hundred percent chance on it? We have an eighty-five. Well. I, I guess so too. <sighs> really hate wasting my free reloads on this, and this also means that we won't be able to demolition or rupture. We could just one hit this thing. Yeah. So now McLean will have a 95% chance. The downside is we have to kill this turret, but once again we have our sniper shot, so. Even if McLean doesn't get this kill, we have the kill with uh, our sniper. And there you go. Neutralized. You know what I hope kind of aliens going? not in the game? A chrysalid queen? Like, <laughs> imagine that, like a giant chrysalid that, you know, has like 50 HP and just owns the crap out of everyone. Let's do this. That'd be terrible. I would cry. We're going to do exactly oh, what we did last turn. Uh, let's overwatch with you, and let's overwatch with you, and let's actually reload with you. And we're going to move you up here. Moving to position. And we'll call it a day. Yes. Roger. I got my eyes on 
He just buried himself. Or he's keep... I don't know what's happening. Fuck that, though. <laughs> <sighs> Fuck. I hate crystals. I'm trusting you here. Position compromised. the ground here. Just a few dings. I don't want to talk about that. But fuck you, bitch. How do you like it? Oh my god, is that... Uh... How freaking stupid is that? So, you can be in concealment. You lose your concealment because there's a freaking chrysalid that, you know, is buried underground that you don't know about. I guess you have to just fucking use the... The scanner. Which, you know, that's probably on me. I should have thought of that. Uh, I think this guy is screwed though. Two, four, six. Yeah, he's fucked. The, the shit part though is the fact that I now took damage. So there's a chance I might be out for the I next mission. Also, what are we, what are we negative for? What, what, what are we, what? Penalties. Oh, if this unit dies while poisoned, it will form a cocoon and spawn more chrysalids. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's great. Fuck you too, game. Once again. Uh. Okay, I'll go. So, this is the point in the game where we stick really close together and everyone overwatches. Also, we All might throw right, another freaking go. spawn beacon forward. Let's see where we can put everyone. How about here? I need to reload you. Although, alright. Let's say we put a spawn beacon out. Not a spawn beacon, but, you know, a scanner beacon. What happens when we spot the chrysalid? I'm assuming they're gonna run at me and do crap to me. So, let's actually hold off a turn on that. We'll do it on our turn. Not our next turn. Hmm. Overwatch time, Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. And let's move you just slightly back. How about here? It doesn't matter. I guess that'll be okay. Let's just make sure she doesn't lose HP because it's poison. I could heal the poison. Alright, so she is going to take damage because of the poison. Well, that sucks. Well, Matoko, heal. <laughs> so we've wasted... <laughs> Two freaking med packs so far. One because of fire and one because of poison. Oh, fucking chrysalids, man. Freaking chrysalids. I don't think this will end my turn. Ha! Bitches. Okay. So can we actually spawn this enemy? Okay, I'll go. Yes. No. Huh? Fuck it. I got the one. Can I shoot the other chrysalid with my sniper? 73? Please hit. I hadn't taken a 73 shot in a long time. Oh, that was crap. Still up. Okay. So... Can we mind control you? No. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna run you back and we're gonna overwatch with everyone. We'll actually put you in front too. So they have to attack me first. Which I'm okay with that just because she has the awesomeness. 
That is her. And let us overwatch everyone. I'm imagining he's gonna actually run at me. Alright. This scares me because this is all at max range. However, that howl targets. Okay. We just need, like, McLean to hit, and we're good. I think this guy dies. Woo, Gerald! You saved me, bud! Whew. Wow, that was scary. Okay. I think we're going to call this an episode here. What time are Yeah, we should probably wrap this one up here. I don't know how many more enemies are left. Let's see. We killed... We just killed two chrysalids. There was a third one over there, so that's three. We killed six. Two turrets, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there's only four more guys. So there's not that many guys left. I don't know what this is going to do. Um, I imagine we'll get a cutscene or something like that. But anyways, we're going to... We'll do that next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to like, comment on the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more videos in the future. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.